Morning guys, welcome to another episode. Um, what I thought I'd do today is kind of run you through a typical um, day in the life on a training day. Um, I know we've done the rest day, day in the life, so it's going to be pretty similar to that, but um, just on a training day, so nutrition will be a bit slightly different. Um, but the day, how it pans out itself, will be pretty much the same. Um, so it is currently quarter past five. Um, I would get to the gym for six. So my first thinking when I'm getting, get up is hydration. Um, I've got all my supplements here now, which is my, um, pre-workouts, um, not pre-workouts, but stuff I take before training and intra-workout, um, supplements. So I will run you through what I will be taking today in training. Today we're training push. Um, so very much looking forward to this session. Um, it is, what day is today? It's Friday today. Um, so we got push today and then posterior chain tomorrow, Saturday, which will finish up our training week. Um, so just to run you through my supplements that I take before training and intra workout. Um, we've got, this will be pretty much similar to the rest day um, supplementation, but in one shaker, which I've got here, which is a seven, 700 mil shaker, which will be the first thing that I drink in the morning. I have my um, Systole Max from Strom, which helps with healthy blood flow, hydration, and all the good stuff. And I take that with my electrolytes. So I'll take one to two scoops of this in that shake. And then I will down that. So I will take you through that in a minute. And then my intra workout, which I haven't shown you before because we did a rest day um, one before. I have 1.5 liters of water. Um, I will have, oh, also, in the um, in that 700 mil shake, I will have two scoops of l citrulline as well, just to help with pumps. Um, I'll take that mainly on a um, a push day and a pull day. Not really for legs because I don't particularly like having a massive leg pump when training um, legs. So I'll take that and push pull workouts. Really just helps with um, blood flow, especially in the morning. Um, just to get a nice all round pump going into training. So I take that with my uh, electrolytes and Systole Max. Uh, so yeah, moving on to the intra workout. Um, very basic, very simple. Just the things we need um, in training. So I have 10 grams of essential amino acids from Reco One, so the Grunt, which is really good. If you're gonna get it, get the mango flavor, that is probably the best flavor that they do. I then take five grams of creatine, which again, should be in your, in your stack, your daily stack. And then I have, at the moment, it's two scoops of the um, Applied Nutrition Carbex, which, so that's 50 grams um, of carbs going in into workout. So obviously we're training in the morning, so I'm training fasted. So my pre-workout meal is my pre-bed meal, which I have before bed, so I'm not eating right now before we train. Our first meal we have in a day will be our post-workout meal, which is which will happen about half eight in the morning. So um, this intro workout just gets me through the session. But you know, by the end of the session, I am, you know, pretty hungry and ready to eat. So um, this is a really good sub, like supplement stack for myself, personally, that just gets me through the session. Um, and I think the main thing in my stack, my morning stack is the fact of hydration, um, you know, the thing we just had seven, six or seven hours of no water. Um, the first thing you want to think about when you get up is hydration and um, putting back in those electrolytes that we've lost during sleep. And especially if you're training in the morning, especially if you're training, if, you know, if you're training 
Um, first thing, without any food, you've got to have some sort of hydration behind you because, you know, we're not we're not going into the gym just to train. You know, it's, I call it my work. So you know, we need to be ready. We need to be seriously ready to um, go to battle. So hydration's key. Um, in my case, carbs are key um, during sessions. Um, and yeah, that's my stack. Um, we're gonna portion this up now, get it ready for the gym, and then, and then all good to go. Um, so first shaker that we have going on is obviously our hydration. So I will do probably about two scoops of that electrolytes. I then go in with one scoop of Systole Max from Strong. And then two scoops of our l which helps with pumps, which I found has massively helped with pumps in my case. So that would be our first thing that we that we drink in the morning. We'll be like, then we move on to our intro workout which is three main products. Um, firstly being our aminos. So I get about 10 grams in of that. I then have five grams five grams of creatine. And then two scoops of the applied nutrition carbs. Come on. Pain in the arse working with the funnel. There we go. Last bit goes in. So once I've made my intro, um, had my hydration supplements, I'll come into the lounge for about 10 minutes um, just to gather my thoughts for the day. Think about what needs to be done in terms of training this morning. Um, and really just take my blood pressure um, so I can sit down for five, 10 minutes, um, let the heart rate come back down, relax for a bit, take my blood pressure so we get a good consistent reading every every day. Um, but yeah, you know, sometimes if I'm busy throughout the whole day, this could be my only time to myself, time for a sit down by myself and, um, as I said, gather my thoughts for the day. So for me, this is very important. This is a very important time of the day. It's my favourite time of day as well. Um, it's about, it's 20 to 6 now. So I'm going to have to leave for the gym now, uh, between now and quarter two, so we can get there for 6. But yeah, I just like to come in here every morning, do what I do, um, and that's it. So we're going to leave for the gym now. I'll probably speak to you when I get to the gym, a bit about training. Um, but yeah, we'll see you then. So we're at the gym. Um, as you can probably hear, I don't know if you can, but it's raining. It's not the nicest morning, but we're into train push today. Um, a slightly more shoulder dominant day. Then our Monday push session, which is more chest dominant. Um, still got a mixture of um, delts, chest and tries in today's session. Um, and then that will wrap us up for the week in terms of push. As I said before as well, posterior tomorrow. But yeah, very much looking forward to this session. Um, our first movement is the compound on um, 
Incline Smith machine. So we'll be hitting that up um, and looking forward to it. So just wanted to run through my little rituals in terms of the gym and training. Well, there's only one really, but I always, I don't know about anyone else, if they have any sort of weird rituals, but I've always got to have a bit of gum. Um, bit of this, bit of, bit of the old extra. I've always got to have a piece of that with me. Since I've started training, since I started training when I was 17, um, I started training with gum and I've always, always have. And every session, I always have a piece. I don't know if you notice in, in any of my other videos, but I'm always chewing gum. Um, some might say it's a bit dangerous, but yeah, sometimes I have had some times where uh, it's fallen out or I've swallowed it for some reason, but it's kind of, it's become a bit of a habit and it's become a bit of something that I've got to have when I train. I don't know why. I think it's mainly, I think it's something to do between sets. Um, Probably be something to do with a bit of anxiety between sets, but I don't know. But yeah, got to have that um, in training. So we're going to go in. I will post a few training videos up um, and show you what we're doing inside. So that is push wrapped up. Um, very productive session. Um, very happy with how we executed all movements. Um, progressed on every every lift today, which was good. Um, how I work out progression is either by increasing by one rep or two reps or increasing the load by about 1.25 or 2.5 or sometimes even five kilo um, if I'm feeling it. Um, this will just happen over each week. Um, I sit down on Sunday and work out for the week ahead um, what I need to do in terms of progression. Um, this might not be reps 
and load, it might be one or the other, or even it might not be any, and I might make a note um, of how the session went or how that set went. Maybe I need to go over that set again the following week because I didn't execute it as well. Maybe I need to slow down the reps. So there's so many ways you can um, incorporate progression into um, your training. Um, and it's just picking the smartest one, you know. If you're not hitting weights, if you're not hitting your numbers each week, don't be increasing load. Um, make sure you're hitting your form perfectly every single set. Make sure you're giving every single set 100% of your effort and intensity. Um, keeping, you know, keeping the reps exactly the same um, on how they look in terms of um, execution and form. That needs to go over into every single week, um, and that's what I try and do. Um, if I'm not executing the movement properly, I will revisit it until I do. Um, so that, may, that might take a week or two on the same load, but execution is getting better each each week. So um, that's the main thing that we're going to that we're working on. That's how progression is going at the moment. Um, at the moment, strength's on at an all-time high. Um, I've never been this strong, so. Um, every week now I'm, in, I'm increasing load and keeping the reps pretty much the same so I'm matching reps but increasing load sometimes I will increase load and increase reps um, but that more than happens I don't really program that in if I, in, if I increase load I will go for the same reps um, but if I I'm in the set and I know I can get more obviously I'm going to push more out, so that might mean what that that movement that week I progressed on load and reps. So um, that sometimes comes around. I'm in that stage now where I am increasing load and increase, increasing on reps in the set. So that's only because food's now on the rise, um, body weight's on the rise, so strength is taking a big incline, um, which is good to see. So yeah. Push done. Um, I'm going to go home now for a post workout meal. We've got Coco Pops, so I'm going to do a bit of posing now, which I might show you um, just to see how we're looking on the Friday after push. But yeah, we'll go home and get a post workout. So we are back for post-workout meal. The weather is absolutely shocking, pouring down today. Um, but we got 125 gram of Cocoa Pops. We got a scoop of whey isolate. And then I also take my morning health uh, plans for today. Nothing, nothing outside because it's pouring down. So. We've got cardio to do after this. We've got 25 minutes on the bike to do. Um, I will do that in the evening as well. I'll do half an hour on the bike in the evening. Um, but main main plan for today is pretty much the same as I do every every day. Um, I like to keep the structure of my day exactly the same. So I literally work, you know, by an hour hourly schedule. Um, everything's got to be done by the by the hour, mainly because. You know, I've got to be in bed by nine, half nine. So everything in my day has to be done between those hours. Um, that's why I train in the morning um, because of work. We're not working today, so uh, which is good. I've got a, I've got a few things to do today in terms of um, menu design, um, ringing up suppliers, seeing what they've got in stock for my for an upcoming um, private dinner. Um, so we've got to get that done today. But mainly it's just keeping the structure the same. Um, six meals today, so they've got to go in. Um, meal prep, which I like to do every day. So as I'm not, 
I'm not working tomorrow, so I will prep. I like to prep three days. So meal three, four and five, I will prep, which are my three rice meals. Um, meal three being fish and rice, uh, meal four being beef and rice and meal five being turkey and rice. The dogs wanting to go out. But yeah, those are the meals that I prep in advance every day. Um, so I've got them just in case I need to go out somewhere. I'll take a meal with me. I never leave the house without a meal, just in case. Just in case I break down. I don't know, I get a call from someone, I've got to be somewhere. Um, so I don't get caught out. So I'm not stressing about meals. I will. I always take a meal with me. I always take water with me. Um, the daily water intake, I'm not sure if I mentioned in the last video we did on the rest day, but it's around six or seven liters. Um, that's a standard, a standard day for me. Um, it works out pretty well from when I get up in the morning to when I go to bed at night. Um, it works out pretty well. So that's the structure for today. As I said, I work on an you know hour to hour basis where I'm pretty pretty busy for every hour of the day, which is which is good and keeps me on track. Um, I like to keep that as I said structure throughout the day. Um, and every day for me is pretty much exactly the same. Um, the meals are exactly the same. You know, going from rest day to training day. You know, I'm, I'm pretty boring in that sense, but I think you know through doing this now for. I'd say five years um, with a structured plan. You know, I've been training now for six or seven years. So five years on a structured plan, doing the same every day, staying consistent with the meals, um, getting up, going to bed at the same time every day. I think that consistency has got me to where I am right now. You know, I'm not saying I went at this high level, which I'm not, you know, but this is what we're working towards, how I look at it. You know, and I'm, you know, going to talk about, you know, I've obviously got certain goals that I want to hit in the future and um, obviously going along the lines of competing and honestly, you know, I do want to take this to the highest level that I can take it. And looking at the pros now, you know, the likes of James Holling said, Hunter Labrada, um, even going down, you know, Jamie Johal, um, Cuba. JP side, or as you can tell, we're in JP. You know, I, I, I follow those guys pretty closely. So trying to replicate what they're doing now. Um, so when it, come, when it comes my time, when I am pro, which honestly, I do believe that I will get there. Um, I'm already doing what they're doing. So I'm prepared, I'm prepared for that. Um, so living that day, day in, day out, being consistent throughout meals, through training, through sleep, through recovery. If I can tick boxes off every day with what they're doing and staying on top of everything, then I'm preparing myself for that. So um, that's all today's gonna be, just ticking boxes again, getting meals done, cardio done, um, and just living another day. So we're gonna get this post-workout meal in now. It is coming up to 25 to nine. So I'll probably get cardio in at nine o'clock. Um, watch a bit of YouTube, we'll get cardio in. Um, I'll have a shower and then it'll be meal two. And then after meal two, I'll get on with some work. As I said, some menu stuff I've got to get done. Um, and that'll be it today. I've got a haircut to get to do today. Um, that's my only, that's the only trip outside today, haircut. Um, and then the rest of the day is just um, meals and stuff. The dog is growling at me, so I'm gonna let him out. But meal two's gonna, sorry, meal one's gonna go in now, post-workout meal, and then we'll get on with the rest of the day. So meal number two, we have one bagel. Get a bit closer there. One bagel, two rashes of bacon medallions, four egg whites, and two egg yolks, and then 20 grams of sauce. Now, I don't know what your preference is on sauces, but I tend to go between HP and the old ketchup. So I'm going for HP today. And we can't have eggs without coffee. I don't know if you can see that. So he's got a black coffee there. I might add some almond milk into it. Um, but that's meal two. I'm gonna eat this. 
get some work done. Like I said, I'm going to start to edit this video because um, I've already noticed that um, the footage is going to be about 25 minutes all already and it's just gone 10 o'clock. So we might have to speed some things up on meals and stuff and just see how we go. So um, I'm going to get that done, start ed editing the video, a um, few menus to do and so on. So I'll catch you in a bit. We're back for meal three. Two fillets of fish, courgette somewhere in there. The courgette, and I'm gonna season it. A bit of a soya sauce, one banana, and then I think, yeah, burnt the bagel, but. One bagel, two fillets of fish. Um, that's 100, let me try and forget, 125 gram of rice, dry weight. Um, two fillets of fish, courgette, one banana, one bagel. We're back from the barbers, feeling fresh. Picked up a decaf coffee on the way home, so feeling good. Uh, meal number four going in now, we've got 140 grams of dry weight spaghetti, 150 grams of lean 5% steak mince, some courgette, half courgette, um, basil, oregano, some passata tomato sauce, salt, pepper, and then a bit of Worcestershire or Worcestershire sauce. Um, that's meal four. I'm actually gonna wrap up this video now because I know I've gone through the um, video to edit it and it's been, it's about um, 30 minutes long. So I'm going to cut it short. Um, I do have two meals to have left. I've got a meal at six o'clock. It's now, it's now coming up to four o'clock, half three, four. So um, I've got a meal at six and then a meal at eight, which will finish us off for the day um, on this training day. So the meal at six will be rice um, and turkey mince so same again i think it's about 70 77 75 or 77 grams of dry weight rice with 200 gram of turkey mince some courgette on that as well and then meal six is 125 grams of oats um, 50 grams of whey isolate 20 grams of jam frozen berries so frozen strawberries frozen blueberries um and then that's it also with the turkey meal um 25 grams of peanut butter and that finishes off for the day um i'll have that and then after my last meal i'll do 30 minutes on the bike before bed and we've got posterior chain tomorrow so i'm gonna get a good sleep in tonight um ready for that tomorrow so yeah thank you for watching guys um if you haven't already go back and watch our previous videos um, we do have a good video, which I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I've got a good video coming next week, uh, which will be um, good. I'm looking forward to watching it as well. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for all the support in my last video as well. Really do appreciate it. Um, but don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, guys.